Welcome back to Three Months of Modal Logics, a sequel to 100 Days of Logic, or a Logic 201 course dealing with the different types of modal logics. In this month, we're going to be continuing with our series on deontic logic, in this video looking at deontic versus alethic modal logics. Remembering that alethic modal logics are the kind of modal logics you usually think of when you think of necessity and possibility and modal logic, and deontic modal logics are the kind of logics you're thinking about when you're thinking about obligations and permissibility. In this video we're going to be looking at some of the remarkable similarities between these two types of logics and one or two differences. So deontic and alethic logic are going to map onto each other isomorphically quite well. So obligatory is going to be very similar to the idea of necessary, permissible to possible, impermissible to impossible, omissible to not necessary, and optional to contingent. This is not to say that things that are necessary are obligatory or anything like that. What it's to say is that these predicates act in very similar ways when we're dealing with logical contexts. And it's one of the reasons that both deontic and alethic logics are considered modal logics. They have similar properties. So take, for example, permissibility. It's permissible that P means it's not the case that it's obligatory that not P. And possible, it's possible that P means that it's not the case that it's necessary that not P. They may look different because one's using predicates and one's using symbols, but it should be clear that they're in fact the same. Impermissible that P is it's obligatory that not P. Impossible that P is it's necessary that not P. Once again, if you replace necessary with obligatory, you have the same definition omissible that p is it's not the case that it's obligatory that p not necessary is it's not the case that it's necessary that p and optional that p is it's not the case that it's obligatory that p and it's not the case that it's obligatory that not p whereas contingent is it's not the case that it's necessary that p and it's not the case that it's necessary that not p the point with all of this is that these two types of concepts map onto each other very well, and some of the same rules that apply to kind of possibility and necessity are going to apply to obligations and permissibility. In fact, they both fit nicely into our deontic hexagon. It could just as easily be an alethic modal logic hexagon. However, there are some important differences. The alethic model, modal logic axioms do not always apply to deontic logic, specifically axiom T. It makes sense in alethic modal logic, but not in deontic modal logic. Axiom T states that anything that is necessary is the case, which makes sense since the actual world is a possible world. Things that are necessary occur in all possible worlds. Something that's necessary would occur in the actual world. Yet it would not make sense to say that anything that is obligatory is true, since clearly there are things that are obligatory but not done. So it doesn't make sense to say that just because something is obligatory means that it is the case. So axiom T seems to make more sense in alethic modal logic than it does in deontic modal logic. Up next, we're going to be starting to talk about some of the axioms that do make sense in deontic modal logic, specifically the deontic equivalence axiom. Watch a new video every single day, all three months at the end of the year, here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.